Hello guys and gals and welcome. So today we're going to be looking at another unique item. Um, and this particular unique item is called Gladiator's Bane. It is in the Elite Wire Fleece. And Gladiator's Bane is one of those odd ones where you find it and you're like, hmm, this could be useful in certain situations, but uh, but what situations are they? And uh, and, and you, you're left kind of scratching your head because you're not exactly sure what you could use it for. Um, well, right off the bat, let me tell you, it actually makes a really decent Merc Armor. Um, because of the cannot be frozen and the faster hit recovery effects on here, it actually works really nice as a, as a Merc Armor. Uh, so let's take a look at the statistics on this armor, and, uh, and we'll go over it together, shall we? So right off the bat there, you see it has 1,496 defense, which is a rather large number. Um, and the Ethereal version is even higher at 2,219 defense. So a really, really high defense armor in general. We've got a um, durability of 135, which is, seems rather high for an armor. And we've got uh, a strength requirement of uh, 111, uh, which the ethereal plate, of course, has 10 less of 101. Now, the level requirement on this is kind of ridiculous at level 85. And I feel like um, I don't know why they put the level 85 requirement on this. Um, it's not the most amazing armor in the world that it needs a level 85 requirement, but at the same time, I mean, it does have some, some interesting uses. So um, We have 30% faster hit recovery, which is always nice to have on armor, especially for mercenaries, because mercenaries have absolutely garbage faster hit recovery breakpoints. Uh, we have 200% enhanced defense, which does vary between 150 to 200%, so there will be a bit of a variable on the, uh, the defense on this plate. Uh, we've got plus 50 flat defense, which of course is going to help a little bit. And then we have uh, the, the interesting numbers here, which is uh, damage reduced by 20, magic damage reduced by 20. Um, and these do vary from 15 to 20, so you will find them in, uh, in a less than perfect state than this. Uh, we also have cannot be frozen, which is absolutely amazing to have on an armor. Um, it is going to obviously, on a mercenary, make your mercenary uh, more survivable. And on a player, of course, it will uh, free up a slot so you don't have to wear Raven Frost or, uh, or some other item that has cannot be frozen on it. Uh, we also have poison length reduced by 50%, which is always nice to have on a merc because mercenaries tend to die a lot to poison. And we have attacker takes damage of 20, which is uh, completely not important. Um, and then, of course, you can put a socket in this and you can make it a little bit better. So what can you use this for? Well, if you find this um, and you don't have anything better, it actually makes a really decent Merc armor, especially if you find the ethereal version. Um, the 2,219 defense on this combined with the faster hit recovery, the cannot be frozen, and the damage reduced by and magic damage reduced by, um, along with the poison length reduced, is actually a very awesome piece of armor for a Merc. Um, is it better than a Fortitude? Probably not. Um, is it better than Treachery? Probably not. But there are some unique situations where this could be um, very, very useful. Um, another interesting use for this particular piece of armor is actually a Energy Shield Sorceress who uses this to, um, to reduce the remaining amount of damage that comes in to her HP. So um, if you've never actually played a uh, Energy Shield Sorceress, let me uh, explain. So the way Energy Shield works is it converts essentially physical damage into damage to your mana. But even maxed out completely, it only will convert 95% of the um, incoming damage to mana, which leaves the remaining 5% going to your health. Um, and armors and things like this that have the damage reduced by or magic damage reduced by effects will effectively cancel out the remaining physical damage, which goes to the HP. Um, and that is why Gladiator's Bane makes one of the best armor pieces for an energy shield sorceress, uh, because it will complete the uh, the damage reduced by and magic damage reduced by numbers um, to completely eradicate any damage that goes through to hit points. Now, one of the biggest issues with an energy shield sorceress is poison, because poison goes right through your energy shield, um, and uh, and this also has poison length reduced by fifty percent, which is going to help you out in that regard. Um, I found with my energy shield sorceress that uh, the poison was probably the biggest detriment to the build um, that I had come across, even even bigger than uh, mana burn, because while mana burn is definitely evil, um, poison was much more readily available in the environment, and I found myself always poisoned and always slowly dying from poison, or, or quickly dying from poison, depending on the, the ferocity of the particular poison in general. And... Um, 
it, it, it's it's such an interesting armor because um, it seems to have had a real uh, and and dedicated purpose. Um, whoever created this armor seems to have had a specific idea in mind when they were creating it, um, and uh, and it does serve for interesting purposes like the energy shield sorceress or a mercenary and uh, you know it wouldn't actually even make a halfway terrible armor for um, other characters if you don't have something better at the time so you know if you if you were just lucky enough to not find anything else but you happen to find a gladiator's bane wire fleece it doesn't actually make a terrible armor you're going to get the cannot be frozen you're going to get the poison length reduced you're going to get the uh, the two damage reduced by effects the magic and the the physical and then on top of that you got the 30 percent faster hit recovery and you could even throw a socket in if you want to and put in uh, more faster hit recovery or you could throw in some resistances which is really what this armor needs is some resistances so if you throw in um you know like a um rune or maybe a uh, all resistance uh, 15 jewel with uh, some other effect on it um, that would actually be really nice i could definitely see a 15 percent ias and all resistance jewel in this that would actually be excellent i'm not i'm not, actually, I'm not even sure if those two spawn together but that would be an excellent choice for this is uh, a little bit of resistances combined with a little bit of attack speed and almost turn it into like a a high level twitch throw <laughs> um all in all, it uh, it definitely is one of those weird armors that uh, that you're going to find and then be like, what the hell can I use this for? And you're not going to want to throw it away because you don't exactly know what it's useful for. But at the same time, you uh, you don't you know just a lot of the times you have trouble finding a use for it, and uh, and that's really really where this armor kind of um, kind of falls off. And um, you know, as far as the effects on it. I feel like it's a really nice combination of effects, but um, I really wish they had included some form of resistance, just any resistance whatsoever. You know, maybe they could have put some actual poison resistance on there to help out the energy shield sorceresses, or, or maybe they could have, um, you know, th just thrown like a little bit of damage absorb on there. Uh, probably would have been interesting. Um, you know, maybe like uh, some cold absorb or fire absorb or something. I don't know. Um, just in general, they could have made it a little a little more enticing, and I think I think with just a tiny a tiny little bit of a of modification here, like take away the attacker takes damage of twenty and throw on something like uh, God, I can't even off off top of my head. I, just like maybe some increased attack speed, um, maybe some IAS, uh, you know, like uh, like just like fifteen percent or twenty percent or something would be would be more than enough. Uh, maybe uh, they could have thrown in, you know, like some open wounds uh, instead, or um, uh, I don't even know. I mean, the the whole gist of this armor seems to be defensive, like extremely defensive. So maybe some something that's very specifically defensive, you know, like um, like a physical damage reduction. Physical damage reduction would have been nice on this armor. Um, it could have uh, they could have thrown in like ten percent or or twenty percent physical damage reduction, and that would have really topped it off. To make it, uh, you know, a little bit of a better armor. Um, it the appearance of it is also kind of an issue. If if you guys if you are an appearance person, um, it it's literally the one of the the cheapest armors in the game. It's the it's the studded leather armor essentially in the Act One normal, um, you know, upgraded to the wire fleece. And uh, you know these armors tend to have really um, not the greatest appearances. Depending on the character that you're putting them on, there's hardly any changes at all. I mean, you could put this armor on um, the the paladins in particular really stand out to me as like is like one of those choices where you put armor on them that's not the greatest and it just doesn't really look good. Let's go look at it on a paladin, shall we? Oh, he's only level uh, sixty-five. He's not even going to be able to use it. <laughs> So here we have our, our beautiful paladin. He's running, uh, what is that, an Archon plate? So so it's kind of a cool armor. And then we plop this on him and we get some shoulder pads. You take it off of him, look, he's in green pants. He's got he's got his leather, you know, kind of booties. He's got his little leather armor, kind of like a, like a Centurion. And you put him on and what does he get? He gets like some slightly different boots, like a, like a, some little shoulder pads. And and uh, uh, he gets a little a little gauntlet, like one gauntlet, like not even two gauntlets. He just gets one gauntlet. 
And uh, and that's always been my problem with with a lot of these um, like armors that are elite, but they're using the graphics of the of the really low level stuff, is they just don't really have the coolest um, you know like graphics, especially things that are running stuff like this. Like you know you've got the um, zoom, you've got like the dusk shroud, which literally is just pauldrons, and then you've got the leather. The leather actually has the tabard at least, which is uh, which is interesting. And then you've got the hard leather, which has the tabard and the gauntlets. So I mean, at the very least, when you're looking at like these particular armors, they're not bad looking. Uh, but then when you put on something like the quilted and the and the little little studded leather, like there's hardly anything to it at all, and it's just kind of Your presence meh. Me. Fashion, fashion Diablo guy, ladies and gentlemen, fashion Diablo. Anyway, I've prattled on long enough, and. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Keep watching.